You don't clap as enthusiastically as I do. No, I don't. It's a much more reserved clap. I like to make it as loud as possible. I know. Hello. Hello, I'm Sola. And I'm Ham, and we're back for another mystery menu. Mm -hmm. So last time was... Hot dogs. It was, it was a thing. We were really excited. That we, we were. Maybe a little too excited. Yeah, maybe a little, but I, I respect our, mm -hmm. you know, our brashness. I wanna go for it again. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do it all over again and hopefully make some captivating content for the world to see. Box. Large box. Two boxes of cereal. Two boxes of cereal. Is my is my guess. You are correct, sir. Is my guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cornflakes. Okay. Immediately, I see cornflakes. I think fried chicken. Me too. <laughs> so we will we will be frying some chicken. Yeah. Okay. And then let's make a whole fried chicken meal. A whole fried chicken With meal. With cornflakes yeah. as the star. Yeah. We, we always have cornflakes at home, mm -hmm. but we never eat cornflakes. Mm -hmm. So it's only, it's, a, it's an ingredient that we're very, very fond of. I feel like it just breads and fries really differently so, from panko. It's yeah. like its own thing. There's a little bit of sweetness, some nuttiness. And you get a really nice, like, crisp crunch. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a really satisfying crunch. Biscuits, but with cornflake ground up as some of the flour. Oh, I was thinking gravy with cornflakes ground up as some of the flour. So cornflake gravy. Cornflake gravy, mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Cornflake biscuit. Cornflake biscuits. I want coleslaw. But how do we do a cornflake coleslaw? Let's just have coleslaw. Yeah. I don't want cornflakes in that. <laughs> I don't want cornflakes in that either. Okay. Dessert? Dessert. Crumble. Cornflake crumble. Blueberry cornflake yeah. crum crumble. Yeah. Blueberry cornflake crumble. Sounds... I'm excited for that. Yeah, okay. Ready. Hey! Wow, you did it. Fried chicken is the center. <laughs> that's the drum, and that's the thigh. Uh -huh. Those are the cornflakes. Uh -huh. Cornflake crusted fried chicken. <laughs> Skillet fried. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Let's make it a plate, because it's all going to be on one plate. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? No, <nothing>. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a plate, okay? And then we're going to have a biscuit. Buttermilk cornflake biscuit? That sounds good. That does sound good. Cornflake cream mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. With the divot in the middle. With Filled the gravy. Filled with gravy. Chicken gravy? No. Just cornflake gravy. Corn, cornflake gravy. Yeah, just okay. so, show some restraint. Uh-huh. Coleslaw. Coleslaw. Coleslaw does not contain cornflakes. And then dessert. Mm -hmm. On its Crumble, own right? plate. Yeah. And then it's like, yo, I have a bunch of blueberries. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And then we put stuff on top. What, what do you call that? Isn't it a blueberry crumble with corn, uh, cornflake like streusel? Uh huh, yeah, that's what it is. Do we want to put ice cream or whipped cream on there? Or creme fraiche. Yeah, that one. Whoa. Okay, that's it. Yeah. This one's easy. Easy, tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People will be able to follow along. Today we have a much better game plan. Last time we were here, we kind of, we were overly confident. We're like, hot dogs, we love hot dogs. We're just making lasagna, we're making a sundae. We can do that in our sleep. Faffed around yeah, a bit. Yeah, faffed around. But we feel, we, yeah, we, we sat, we planned. We have, we each have our lists. We have a solid game plan. We got our plan. recipes. Yeah. And at the end of this hour, there will be mashed potatoes and fried chicken and crumble. Can't so. go wrong with any of this stuff. Can't go wrong. Cornflakes are a great ingredient. Let's do oh. it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Three, uh -huh. Two, Go. Cornflakes. So first thing, I'm gonna grind the cornflakes for both of us. We're doing a coarse grind for some things and a fine grind for some other things. Every time like we cook potatoes at home and it's a part of the meal, we always like underestimate how long potatoes take to cook and then you end up waiting on potatoes to get done. So not this time. This time, potatoes are going in first. So now I'm gonna get the crumble going. It needs to bake for typically one hour. So we're gonna try and make it happen faster. A little higher heat and prayers. Wow, that always works. It always works. I'm gonna do honey and then a little salty cornflake crumble top because you have honey with your cornflakes, right? Mm -hmm. All the time. So you bring the potatoes up. Yeah, it just cooks a lot more evenly. 
because it to like have everything kind of rise up together as one. Oh, like people. You do you do better when you rise up together. Um about to go into biscuits. This is AP flour, the crumbled up cornflake, some baking powder, some salt, some sugar, that's it. Here I have some butter cut into chunks that I'm gonna squish into my flour. And then I'm gonna laminate this. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create really nice flaky layers. Well, hopefully. 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 And I made my crumble thinner than usual, so it hopefully cooks up faster, yeah. Oh, Look at how flat what, it is, honestly, it's like a single layer crumble. That's gonna be a better ratio, personally, yeah. a better ratio. Because the best part's the crunchy. Yeah, I, I always really like the crumble wet with a little bit of the fruit filling. That's like You just wanna eat crumble. Way. I just wanna eat crumble. Cornflake corn crumble is very good and yeah. it's something I legitimately make. Yeah, it's like, it's a favorite, like ice cream topping, or just to have around to eat. It's Christina Tosi built treat. an empire. Yeah, exactly. On her appreciation of cornflakes. Okay, this is a promising start. 47 minutes. So here, I just mix it together until it's like kind of shaggy and barely holds together. And then I'm gonna dump it out and I'm flattening it out, getting a little square. And then I'm gonna fold it. All right, so the gravy, we just got like really good bone broth. And we're gonna let it simmer down with some of this cornflake flour. I'm hoping that it'll thicken it up and give it some nice flavor. 45 minutes, biscuits are ready. Brushing it with a little bit of cream for a little bit of like sheen. We've got cream steeping. We're gonna steep cornflakes in the cream that we add to the mashed potatoes for a little corny undertone. Now making the, the dredge for the fried chicken. I'm also gonna add self-rising flour. You feel like you're gonna get that chicken cooked on time? Yeah, what, what's the time? 41. Yeah. So seasoning it up with a little MSG, some salt, cayenne, chili powder, and some onion powder. Just a nice chill dredge. Buttermilk and an egg. It helps bind the coating to the chicken. 39 minutes. You feeling good? Do you need support? I'm okay. Okay. All right. Oil's at temp. Oil's at temp. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going. Whoa, what is that? Is that it not a peeler? No, but this might be better. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> so I'm going an initial coat of just the dry, just as like a base layer, dipping into the wet, and then I'm going back and really pressing the coating in, because I, that final dredge is when I want like the little craggly bits of cornflake. Stop being so chatty and get chicken in the fryer. <laughs> I know it's easy to be distracted by Vaughn. Vaughn demands it. You wear very tight pants, Vaughn. <laughs> he demands all of the attention. Oh, can you take a peek at the biscuits while you're there? They're still cooking. They're still cooking? They look flaky. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. While you've read, dredge, let's get some frying happening. I'm stressing out. Okay. We will not have raw chicken. You're just, you're just slowing it, slowing down the whole process. Uh huh. I just needed to get something frying, okay? Now we're just chilling. Should we make something else? Uh, what else can we make with cornflakes? Should we make some mac and cheese with a cornflake top? There will be mac and cheese, guys. Wow. Talk about redemption. 30 minutes. You cook it directly in the milk and like stir, and then the milk gets really starchy and thickened like a sauce and then you just add the cheese right in there. So it's like the best mac and cheese for when you're feeling really lazy. So into the coleslaw I added some buttermilk, creme fraiche, a little bit of MSG, cayenne and onion powder. I think coleslaw is always better the next day. I'm going for But we're doing it, baby. When it comes to dark meat, I like to kind of go past the 165 because I really want it, want all that um, tough connective tissue broken down. So I'm looking for like a 175 cook. You're giving away all of our fried chicken secrets. Do you feel good about getting mashed potatoes done? Yeah, the, the potatoes are almost done. That's all really I'm waiting for. And I think the biscuits will be ready like in five minutes. Straining out the cereal milk. Hot potato water. There's no room. So I'm just gonna dry them out a bit. And then we're gonna go ricer right into this corn 
flake cream. It gets you where you want to be without needing to work the potato too much, which is the enemy of mashed potatoes, overworking your, your potato. Oh, honey, bring out that cornflake sweetness. I think it's like 10 minutes out. How much time do we have? Down to the wire. The blueberries are bubbling. Oh, I think awesome. they just need five wow. more minutes. Good amount of butter, making sure you keep all of your ingredients hot as you mix it. Pasta got a little overcooked. Oh, it got overcooked? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't think there was stoked. enough time for it to be overcooked. You know, but mac and cheese, it's comfort, right? That's fine. Cheese, 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 cheese. 12 minutes? 12 minutes. More cheese. No. <laughs> a double strain. If you have 12 minutes left and you want to take your mashed potatoes to the next level, why not? Do you have eyes on the crumble? Eyes on the crumble. It's coming out. Come here, buddy. It made it. It bubbled. It bubbled. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're so hot. They're so heavy. Nobody touched that. You guys don't have a chinois, do you? Yeah, I'm using it right now. You're using it. It's OK. I'll go without the chinois. Oh, God. This isn't working. Are you capturing all of this? Yeah. Oh boy. I think I might be better off waiting for you. Waiting for the chinois? Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm gonna just plate everything. Ooh, the biscuits are flaky. Is it great when I stand with my back to the camera? It's a great shot. I really know how to keep the audience engaged. Mmm, that's good, Ham. Remember the first time I did these and I was alone and I just was never on time? Those were the days. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, gravy boat. Did you taste it? Thoughts? I think it could use a little lemon, a little salt, a little MSG. Wow, we did it. Okay, has that ever happened? Huh? Okay. Yeah, it's happened. What do you guys want to do for two minutes? Snack on some crunchy cornflakes. Oh. This felt so much better. This was fun. This was I, fun. I, I had, I had yeah. fun making this meal. Mm -hmm. it, it, felt like, it felt like old school mystery menu. This is totally something we make all the time when people come over. Yeah. This and is I like feel like we do it in very, like we can do this with our eyes closed. If you're coming over for dinner and we're like, and it's like a last second thing, it's either fried chicken or Korean barbecue. Yep. Those are like our go-to, yeah. our go-to entertaining. So normally we share a plate, but today, we're having I our want own, my own yeah. freaking plate. I think I want to start with the biscuit. I want to start with the biscuit too. This is what I'm really curious yeah. about. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You taste the cornflake. It comes through. Mm hmm. It's a standard buttermilk biscuit recipe, but you replaced 30%. Yeah, it really, it really comes through. It tastes, it has the cornflake flavor after like it's sat in the milk for a while. Like you get that, that's the flavor. Cornflake in the cream for the mashed potatoes plus the gravy is thickened with just cornflakes. Mm -hmm. There's no roux. Mm -hmm. Having like super smooth mashed potatoes like that really remind you of like fast food mashed potatoes. I mean, I don't taste as much cornflake here, but it's really good. It's like just really good mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm -hmm. Coleslaw gives me everything that I want, a nice crisp crisp bite to offset everything else. You need your salad. Mm -hmm. The mac and cheese just has cornflakes on top. It was like a quick last minute addition. It's a solid mac and cheese. When, you're, when you want to commit box mac and cheese level of work, but you want to make your own mac and cheese, this is a good option. Okay, I'm going in. So normally, same day fried chicken's not a thing for us. It's not bad though. Mm -mm. I was mostly worried about the seasoning. I was worried that it wouldn't be seasoned enough, that, but, Doing that initial coat of aggressive seasoning right on the chicken before doing the dredging and the rest of really, it, it helped. It like locked in that seasoning. The cornflake adds just this really nice light texture. It's lighter than when you bread it with flour alone. Yes. Even like, it looks the same, like craggly texture, but there's a lightness to it. Make so it. the crumble, I was really worried about it not cooking in time. So I made it a <clears throat> one really thin layer. Yeah, that looks great. I love the ratio of crumble to fruit. Let's do a little creme fraiche. Oh, and it's sweetened with honey. Oh. To go okay. for that cereal honey mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm-hmm. It's really good. The honey like kind of 
plays off of the cornflakes and makes everything taste more cornflakey. Well, and the cornflakes and the crumble, it did the same thing it did on the fried chicken coating. It's like really light and yeah. crispy. Without a lot of like density. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is good, we're gonna eat all of this. This is one of the ones I feel the best about. Like top to bottom, if I had this identical meal again, I would be happy. Yeah. I would be pleased. Cornflakes is a great ingredient. Mm -hmm. And you know, when Vaughn stays out of our way respectfully, and, and it's all good. Guys, you should eat while it's hot. Yeah, get, get in here. Grab plates.